is a joke. Absolute joke. <sighs> Alright. Let's talk about the shit show. That was E3 2021. No wonder Sony wanted to sit this one out. They must have seen the lineup and said, you know what? We're good. There was nothing there that poses a threat to them. Absolutely nothing. The only thing that they potentially would have to worry about was well, the first thing that's a kick in the teeth is Bethesda. Yeah? Microsoft acquiring them. And the inevitability of games being made exclusive to the Xbox console. Nothing you can do about that, right? They've had a, lot, a couple months to deal with that painful defeat. Now we've got to move on. They looked at everything there and they said there's no threats. Okay, Microsoft have got this big game, um, Scarlet Nexus, that has been massively advertised on the Xbox. Now what's going to happen when everybody understands that it's coming out on the PlayStation, everyone's going to get on the PlayStation, ain't no one going to get it on the Xbox. So even without the marketing, Xbox are still losing. Okay, what else? Starfield? Look, that game is a hot a dream an idea away from reality and I don't believe a damn word that comes out of Todd Howard's mouth not one word Bethesda have got to be one of the most untrustworthy studios in the gaming world they will nickel and dime and manipulate to get every single penny, pound, dollar or dime out of the gaming community. They'll get you to fall in love with their game and they'll just nickel and dime you out of every single penny for every tiny little thing, right? So that game, I'm taking that game with a pinch of salt. Now, Pete Hines did say that all of that stuff was in game yeah i don't know about that man we'll see because we have had these ideas thrown at us and they have not come to pass and i am done i will not be fooled ever again by a studio that makes big promises never again Cyberpunk 2077 was the last time that it has happened and it's the last time it will ever happen. I will not be duped again. I'm done with it. So in terms of Starfield, let that shit come out. Then we'll see it. When it's in people's hands, only then will I believe. Until then, Starfield exists. All good. All good. Keep doing your thing. When a game comes out, I'll take a look at it. But you saw everything. And there was nothing of note. It was absolute garbage. Look, I don't want to single nobody out, man. But Bad Dynamico? What the fuck was that? That was like one trailer and them's talking and then they're out. Dude, don't put this shit out. As a goddamn conference or an event. If you're saying, look, E3, we're going to do a big presentation. The one time of the year. The showcase for gaming. And we're going to put our big foot forward. That doesn't even make any sense. We're going to put our best foot forward. That still doesn't make any sense. But you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah? We're coming in Guns blazing And then You bring all of this stuff I mean I would say The best Presentation Was 
Marvel. Because at least when you went to the Marvel Entertainment channel, what did they show? They showed the Marvel Avengers War for Wakanda expansion and the Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy gameplay and trailer. That was it. And it was good. And that was it. They ended it. No problem. No problem with that. Right? Everybody else, because Marvel, you don't really see them for their gaming. Right? But they have massive potential for their gaming. Everybody else. Negative. Fail. Look. There were some good games there. The Final Fantasy Origins. That looked really cool. They had the um, Shin Megami Tensei 5. That also looked good. As I said, the Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy. That looked really good. Uh, the Halo multiplayer. Look, it's, whole, it's Halo multiplayer, man. That get, that get For me, that was more a showcase of top players doing what top players do. That was it. I didn't see anything more than that. This thing was just a joke, man. The fact that Sony bowed out, man. They passed. That was the red flag right there, dude. Oh, my goodness. And look, I love me some Capcom, man. Damn, they've done such a good job, they, um, you know, since, I say, 2017. But what the fuck was that? press conference it, the best thing about that press conference was the fact that they said that um final resident evil 8 is getting its own it's gonna have like more dlc for it that's cool that's amazing we're happy we're, everyone's happy about that right but that's it that was it there was nothing else monster hunter rise is already out Monster Hunter Stories 2, we already know that's coming and we're going to get it. I'm going to get that game for sure, right? But we already know that it's coming out. So you're just re you're using this to 98% of things showing at E3, tweet it out. That shit could have been tweeted out, man. And then I would have picked my time if I wanted to take a look at it. What the hell does Sony have to worry about? Sony have just released Resident Evil Village. Yeah. And that game is like ridiculous. Having that game sold like fucking 5 million. Within the first 3 days of it coming out. They've just put out Returnals. Right. Final Fantasy 7 Remake Integrate. Literally came out like a couple days ago. Guilty Gear Strive just came out a couple days ago. Ratchet and Clank. Rift Apart came out just a couple days ago and they got Scarlet Nexus coming out next week. They don't give a fuck about this E3. They're laughing. Microsoft ain't doing anything to them. Not a goddamn thing. Nothing. I mean, even though we've already talked about it, Xbox are playing a different game. Which is fascinating, yeah? They're playing a completely different game to Sony. They will go for their subscription model. You want this game, get our console, get on my Game Pass, have access to this massive catalog of games while you're subscribed to our program. Sony, they've got the Ratchet and Clanks, they've got the Spider-Man, they've got the Horizon Zero Dawn, they've got the Guilty Gear Strive, they've got the Street Fighter, they've got all these type of big games, right? But unfortunately, Microsoft, I don't know what is up with this company, dude. I don't understand, man. Their Microsoft press conference was garbage, bro. That press conference was a joke. It was laughable. If I if my time wasn't being wasted, I would have laughed at it. 
that list, man, of games was doo doo, bro. Absolute garbage, man. I'll give that press conference like the whole E3 in its entirety. Three out of ten. Three out of ten. There was way too many games, way too many trailers, and uh, advertisements and games that are going to be coming out that were just an F. That were not really noteworthy. Most of these games, I'll read about it in a tweet, bro. Don't waste my time with it. Do not waste my time, man. You had like the maybe the Zelda game, the Shin Megami Tensei game, the Black Panther War for Wakanda, the Guardians of the Galaxy game, the Final Fantasy Origins, and you know, at least something to do with Starfield that we could see something visual for it, right? Everything else, flush it down the toilet. Yeah, that's right, flush it. Couldn't give a flying fuck about it, man. What is this? Like, this is your chance to show the world. And then this is what you do. This is your best that you can show us. Your massive redacted list of games from 2000, the shithouse year that was 2020, that you've now moved to, to, to 2021, and this was it. Can you imagine Sony right now or during that E3? They must have been having a right old chuckle. They must have been laughing their heads off, man. Seeing all of that, like this E3 minus Sony made Sony stock rise. Because without Sony, this is what it seems like to me. Without Sony... E3 is fail. They can't manage without their the, the golden child, which is Sony. Oh my goodness, dude. I, I like Sony's approach. You ain't got nothing to show. Don't come. Don't come to the party. If you've got to be a party pooper, don't come, bro. And you know, next time they're going to come, they're going to come. And um, with the next Spider-Man game, they're going to come with the next God of War game. They're going to be showing like some mad footage of Horizon Zero Dawn. They're going to have some next new surprise. They might have some next new Marvel game. They're going to come guns blazing, dude. They don't have anything right now, so you know what? Yeah, they're going to fall back. Most probably, most probably, maybe, next time they come, they will have... The Resident Evil footage, the, Res the next Resident Evil DLC on their showcase. Man, I'm telling you, dude, this E3 2021 was a joke. Absolute garbage, man. It was a waste of time. Like, how long was it? That was a week, five days of absolute car car. That's the reason I've waited till today, Friday, to make this video. Because I wanted to go through all the list of games and look at all the trailers again. Just to make sure that in terms of me being disappointed, my level of disappointment is validated. And it is. I mean... <laughs> I looked at... There was like... Uh, let me just make an example, right? What was it? There was Babylon Fall. I don't even know what to say about that. One thing I will say that there were a couple games that there were gameplay for that they didn't show during their press conferences. And that's the reason that I waited a little bit um, to do this video because there was like gameplay for... Um, the Mario Golf for the Wario, uh, the No More Heroes, Shin Megami Tensei Five. They had like some gameplay. Babylon Fall. They had some gameplay. Play the Metroid Dread. They showed some gameplay. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Of course, we saw the gameplay um, as it was being displayed. 
but there was some gameplay uh, for a lot of other stuff that they never showed during the whole showcase. Um, you know, there's other games, but I'm not going to include them because we saw gameplay from a couple of weeks ago when those games were announced. Like, you know, for like example, Scarlet Nexus, um, Monster Hunter Stories 2, example, right? So yeah, for me, this E3 was absolute garbage. It was a shit house trash fire. Yeah, three out of ten. Um, and moral of the story: if you ain't got shit to show, fuck off. Don't come. Don't waste our time, man. Because you hype us up. We're the ones that are going to be buying your games. We're the ones that are going to be giving you money. That are going to be investing time into these products. So if you're wasting our time, yeah, it's going to our time and our money. We're going to wound up, and then we're going to be talking shit to you, and you don't want that. Because I don't want to be, look. If you ain't got shit for me, I ain't gonna pay attention to you, and I'm gonna go about my business. And now I ain't got nothing to say to you. I ain't gonna give you my time or my money, so I've got no problem. Now, if you take my time and you entice me to buy your product, and then you and then you and then I find out that it's actually a shit house, then we got a problem. Until that point. If you ain't got shit to show, fuck off. It's that simple. Sorry to be so crass, yeah? But that's it. It is what it is. So, yeah, that's all I really wanted to say about uh, all of that. And, um, yeah, Warriors. I want to know what you guys thought of um, E3, man. Did I miss anything out? I probably did. Yeah, but let me know what you guys thought about this E3 2021. Um, were you happy? Were you disappointed? Um, did you get what you wanted to see? You know, because I know, look, there's a lot of people that love a Forza and can't wait for Forza. So Forza is amazing to see. I get that. People are just dying to see some Halo and they get to see their Halo. So they're overjoyed to see some Halo. You know, some people love their Battlefield and seeing their Battlefield 2042 coming out and it's going to be just multiplayer with no story mode, just multiplayer. People are like really excited and really happy about that. I get it. A lot of these things are the most expected things that I announcements that I could ever hear, and that's the reason I give it an F. A lot of those games I don't care about. That's number one. And then number two, they're the most expected, so I don't care about them because I know that they're coming, bro. So warriors, please comment section. Let me know what you guys thought about this E3. And then, um, yeah, we can talk about it. So once again, thank you. Take care. Stay blessed. And thanks for all the support, guys. Laters.